Hello everyone, welcome to a little exciting episode where we're going to be installing something called LXC. LXC is a virtualization software that sits inside of your Ubuntu virtual machine and you are able to make more virtual machines inside of your virtual machines. And you, these could be like containers with other VM flavors in them. Like you could put in Arch Linux, you could put in Fedora, you can put, you can make a, a Fedora virtual machine container running inside of an Ubuntu virtual machine. And the LXC containers running in this virtual machine don't know that they're virtual machines, so they don't actually see it outside of themselves. So it can be pretty useful when it comes to like lobbying and messing around with other distributions. Maybe you are maybe you need to do some work or host some servers on that virtual machine inside of your virtual machine that are forwarding some sensitive ports that kind of expose your your computer and maybe when you set it up on that virtual machine, it's kind of less, the security is a bit less important because that's a nested VM. That's another word for it. A nested VM is a VM that's inside of another VM. So you can put more high risk servers and services on there and forward more ports on that VM because that VM doesn't see outside of it. And if a hacker gets in, they might not be able to get to the virtual machine outside of it. So, you know, there's lots of other things that you can use it for. Um, when you're working with Kubernetes and Docker, a lot of these containers can be containers within VMs. So like VMs nested within VMs, you could be using LXC. We'll talk about it a lot more as we go along. So let's go ahead and get started. App get update, double ampersand. So as we went through in a previous video, if this is true, run the next command. And the next command is going to be apt get install lxc. Alright, so everything's finished installing. So let's go ahead and create our first machine. Let's take a step back here, copy this, paste it into our configuration. Yes. All right. So looks like my syntax was a little bit off. We'll just do this where dash dash name. So similar to what I did, but before I did name first, this one does. Yeah, let's try it out. And I'm going to rename it because I don't want it to be my Ubuntu container. I want it to be Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's name it Magic Container. How about that? So right now we're doing a network retrieval from, from this website location. It's going to be using like these archives and stuff to pull all the information to retrieve and validate and install the kernel and the necessary softwares for our container to be installed. Now it's going to install the bare minimum. So it's not going to install a graphical user interface. It's not going to install a lot of the other softwares. It probably won't have Firefox. It's not going to have games like Solitaire on it. It's just going to be bare bones and anything further that you need on this container, you're going to have to manually install it yourself. Unless we're using something called configuration management. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. That's something that we're going to get into in a different video. After about 10-15 minutes or so, the installation is complete. And it says right here, the default username is Ubuntu. The default password is also Ubuntu. And it says, use the sudo command to run tasks. It's just a little quick tutorial for us. So we can go ahead with the command lxc ls. Um, hold on.
we can list only active machines fancy we could try fancy yeah sure LXC dash dash fancy and we got nothing that's because we have no LXC containers running so we could do sudo LXC start in dash n we're gonna do the name that we named it I named mine magic container here's the password for your sudo so now if I go lxc.ls okay okay so I just gotta do console so the command for it is sudo lxc console, the name of the container. Our login is Ubuntu, as it told us, and our password is also Ubuntu. And here we are inside of our virtual machine, inside of a virtual machine. And as you know, the first thing we always do is change our password to something incredibly secure, like 123 at QWE. That's what my password is now. Oh, authentication, password unchanged, okay. Maybe you didn't like the complexity of my password. Nothing, okay. All right, um, that's an error message to look into of authentication token manipulation error. All right. bit more troubleshooting in this video okay wait hold on oh because it's asking for the current password <laughs> duh all right that's better yeah I have to read man that's that's what it is that it says current password and I'm trying to put in the new password into the current password field god <laughs> Let's do htop. <gasps> no htop. apt get install htop. sudo apt get install htop. Ubuntu. Nope, I changed the password. htop. Cool, here are all the processes that are running in our system. As you can see, this short list it's a short list a lot less processes than on, on our host system now if we go to cat etc cat etsy network interfaces <gasps> no such device etsy network interfaces okay Nothing to do with networks? Oh, it's networks. I just did network. Okay. CD networks. Okay, you know what? We can do IF config. Command not found. sudo apt get install net utils, I think. Unable to locate package net utils. Um, sudo apt get install if config. That's not a package. What's oh, net? It's net tools. Okay. Now if I go IF config, right, so it's showing that we have an Ethernet port 0 and a loopback port. For those of you who know, Ethernet 0 means a physical Ethernet port. But this is a container, 
inside of a virtual machine. So how is there a physical port? That means that this container literally does not know that it isn't a physical computer. This container is 100% convinced that it is a physical computer and it is not a container. Pretty cute. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. And we'll probably do more videos on this in the future. So thanks for watching. Hope you found some valuable information.